Good evening, Southern Soul Tarot fam. Today we are going to be doing a private reading for PR number 57-S. So um, basically their question is going to be, um, how does their, their grandmother, they basically want to speak to their grandmother who has passed. They want to know if she has any spiritual guidance for her or her family. Does she have any messages um, also for her? Um, and then whatever's gone on in the past with the family and does she feel um, let me see. How does she feel anything that applies to you here? Okay. So basically she wants to know spiritually, is there anything that happens that she is trying to connect with her here in the spirit, in the, in the 3d that she might be missing? So that is the third question. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to put down the St. Jude water. We'll spray the Palo Santo. And then the hot tea. For good luck. So we're going to go ahead and start shuffling. So again, this will be for PR number 57-S. I want to thank you again for choosing me to do your reading. Again, I greatly appreciate it. And it's always an honor to work with you. So... And we're going to ask about your grandmother. So any messages that she has for you? Um, how does she feel about the family and the things that, you know, whatever went on in the past with the family? And then we're going to also ask, is uh, there anything in the earthly realm that she tries to show you to give you messages that will help you to progress spiritually? So you were asked for her spirit guides to come in with my spirit guides, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, along with the source, ancestors, and anyone else that can give us a clearer picture into this reading. We also want to thank all of y'all for giving us the window and the opening to go ahead and speak to all of our loved ones. And again, thank source for giving us that, that um, option. So I'm going to go ahead and ask again. Does her grandmother have anything to say about the family situation or its past? Does she have any messages for her? Is there anything in the earthly realm that she should be looking for as a message from her grandmother? I will split all three questions into three rows. So that way it'll kind of be a little bit more clear about each one. All right, so I know how does she feel? And hand to herself during this life as far as the family and what was going on with the family. How did she feel about it? And how did she handle it the best that she could? How did she feel about it? And how did she handle it? That's too many. She is saying there was a dark and a light side to it as far as the high priestess being here. She said that it was a dark and a light side to the family where people did not know certain things. But she is also saying she played it off in the Queen of uh, Coins energy. So that is an earthly energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So um, I do think there was a lot of secrets about the family um, that people did not know. But she kind of took it over and basically... Didn't, kind of man, didn't manipulate it in a bad way because she's not reversed, but she didn't let people know that it wasn't as great as maybe some people thought it might have been, or um, she tried to keep it light. So let's go see if she has any messages for you. She is saying, lately, I don't know if maybe you've had a bit of stress, anxiety, or depression, but she said somebody is having that. Um, insomnia, anxiety, depression. So she is saying that that is something that is going on or has gone on recently or might be going on soon. But I think it has something to do with the messages as far as the spirit guide because I do know that you are wanting to get, yeah. So the next question was, uh, is there anything here that she wants you to apply more? I think she wants you to, um, not only get in touch with your spiritual side more as far as the star card because the star card is being into a new kind of, um, realm in a way and kind of, welcoming something brand new as you can see she's pouring the water of pictures but it is saying um maybe this moment you're like you said you're kind of stuck you you don't know really to know which messages from the stars to look for <clears throat> so she's gonna sh show them to you basically so let's go ahead and see how, why the high priestess is here and why the queen of coins is here for um the family and if how she dealt with it in the in the past now this was over hundreds of years ago 
So she's saying there was conflict. There was a seven of wands conflict. So she is not denying that. Um, and I think it, sometimes she just turned her eye to it. There was times she couldn't really do much about it. And there was times where she did still, you know, present to everybody that it was, you know, everything worked itself out. So let's, let's see what messages she has for you as far as the Nine of Swords. What messages does she have for you? So she is saying chariot. She is saying it is time to move forward. So if, if you are feeling the insomnia, anxiety, or depression, or there's, or it's just, you know, you feel like maybe you're not doing something in the spiritual realm, right? It is saying it is time to move forward from that, that energy because that's not true. Um, you are, there are signs, there are things that are coming to you. I'm not saying that you don't see them. I think you see them. I just don't think you realize that's what it is yet. So let's go ahead and clarify that last one. Um, she is saying she is working hard um, to show you the signs. But she is saying that, yes, with the two of wands, you know, she's made the decision to work very hard with the three of coins so that you can see it with her. You know what I mean? So she is putting the effort in to try to show you the signs of what to do. And it, it could be you, her, and then the spiritual realm and y'all connecting. That can be the three because it is upright. So let's go ahead and see why the seven of wands is here for the family. She is saying there was no temperance between emotions and balance sometimes. And that is why there was sometimes conflict between the family. So that is where that was coming from. So as far as does she have any messages for you? She is saying to move forward from any anxiety, depression, or insomnia that you might have. Because if you move forward, you will have the Ace of Pentacles. And that is exactly what you want. You want to be offered something within the earthly realm that is going to be beneficial not to not only you, but your loved ones and your family. So that is what she is wanting you to do. So how can you do that? What can you look for? What messages can you look for from her? She's saying to look into your own home life. Um, this is a Ten of Cups, so your own emotions, kind of. Look into your own cup of emotions. So maybe reflect a little bit on yourself. Not to say you have it, but like um, reflect on your emotions, not just the grounding and the earth part. Because I think you do very much of the grounding and the earth part. I do feel like you're very in tune with nature and things like that. But I think there's um, an emotional side that you might need to tap into that maybe you haven't or you don't do it very often. So it could be meditation, it could just be um, expressing your emotions, but um, maybe, you know, she is saying that, you know, the Ten of Cups is here, it's upright, so it's not reversed, but the only thing I could suggest is maybe looking into your emotions a little bit more, and that'll kind of show you the things around you that she might be trying to show you that will emotionally help you move forward. So let's go ahead and clarify. I'll do the first uh, row here, right here, as far as if, you know her family life how she dealt with it if there's any messages and then um at the very end you know is there anything in the earthly realm that she'd like you to see that you're missing so why is the high priestess here with the coin the queen of coins she is saying that the high priestess is here in reverse with the ace of swords so the ace of swords is here in reverse for the high priestess but so is the nine of rods for the queen of coins so basically she is saying by putting the high priestess out of the situation and not really thinking much of their behavior that she um kind of brought in the nine of swords so there were conflict there were arguments there were those things but she came out of it very easily so she actually handled it very well it wasn't something like, obviously, it's not an ideal situation, but it's not something that she's stuck in her mind. And it, it's like she kind of felt it was an action. It happened and she moved forward. So let's go ahead and see why the seven of wands is here. That is defending yourself. So that would go with the nine of um, wands. So let's see what the seven of wands, what she was defending about. It's saying the three of rods. So the three of rods is like waiting for something to come in. So maybe somebody wanted something to change. Now, again, I know this was a couple hundred. It was from 1823 to 1895, so it was a very long time ago. So she could have just been waiting for something to come in, but it is more fire. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. There are a lot of wands here and uh, fire. So there's a lot of earth and fire. So she was saying she was waiting for something to come in, and I think that was the temperance. Obviously, you know, the balancing out between emotions and actions in the family. Let's see how that happened. She is saying with the Eight of Cauldrons, it, it, it never really happened. Um, nobody walked away from it. It kind of just stayed there. Um, so I don't know if it's still something that's currently going on between the families or not, but either way, she is saying it kind of stayed there. It didn't really go anywhere. Um, but, but it's not something that affected her into the next life or, you know, 
she doesn't want it to affect you or anybody else anymore. So let's go ahead and see why the Nine of Swords is here for, does she have any messages as far as that? Whoops. That is too many. So the Nine of Swords, does she have any messages with the Nine of Swords for you? She is saying to take a chance with the Page of Cauldrons, which is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and to go ahead again and reflect into the emotion. I, was, I don't know if that's something that you're used to doing is getting into emotions, but she is saying once you do, that that will go ahead and open up the portal for you to be able to communicate and move forward with the Chariot and the Ace of Pentacles. And that will help you to communicate with her. So moving forward with the Chariot to communicate with her, what will come after that? The King of Swords. So once you move forward, the King of Swords, like I said, this could be somebody that just steps in that helps you. But again, it is a thought. So once you start to maybe think about certain things, certain somebody will come forward. It could be if, you know, two of you are married, it could be your husband, uh, Leo. It's not Leo. I'm sorry. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or they could just be carrying that energy. But they're going to move forward and help you see and uh, the thoughts, the things that were going on maybe in the past and then the things that she would like to present to you or maybe help you sort those thoughts out. So, you know, that might be what the Ace of Pentacles is there for. This person steps in to help you sort the thoughts out. So let's see why the uh, Ace of Coins is here. The King of Pentacles. So, yeah. So you're going to have, um, once you get the Ace of Pentacles, you'll have the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is looking at the Ace of Pentacles and he is bringing in something for you. So he's going to be there to back you up. So you will have um, spiritual guidance, but it does feel like you will, um, it doesn't have to be a male. It can be a female energy too, but you will have an earthly energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that will help you, or both of them will help you bring it in. So let's go ahead and see why the star is here, and as far as any messages that she's trying to give you that you might be missing. She is saying, um, Five of Swords. So she is saying, yes, there's a little bit of conflict, but I don't think this is with anybody else. Now, I do realize there's something on the card, but I think that you feel like the conflict is within trying to figure out what the message might be and what is what are you supposed to be looking for. So I think that might be frustrating you a little bit. And that's what she's saying, to go ahead and make the decision and just kind of let it go. Let go with the flow as far as the, the three of coins that she's doing her. But she's going to go ahead and put the effort in so that you can see it. Why is it two of um, Wands reversed? Because she knows that you want to see with the five of cauldrons. Like I said, the five of cauldrons like the five of cups. So it's kind of like something being spilt. So, um, again, it is your grandma. There's a child in the background. This person looks in despair. So they want to go ahead and make things better. But it's almost kind of like um, they're still that in that grass is greener on the other side. So that might be where you want to go ahead and connect to her, but you're not able to. But once you have a three of coins, you're going to have a six of pentacles. So once you are able to um, pick up on some of the earth, because I think she's giving you more earth hints um, than what she is. Like I said, she does want you to get in touch with your emotions. But once you get in touch with your emotions, more earthly things are going to come out. And I think that's how it's going to communicate. And it'll flow into your emotional life. So you not only have, because you already have emotional abundance, but, you know, with the, with the ten of cups. But then you'll get the ten of pentacles and you'll have... Um, like uh, earthly abundance and then you'll have temptation will be over so there'll be no temptation so um that will be gone and then um whenever that leaves like i said you'll be able to be uh moving forward in the earthly realm and you will be able to see what it is that she is trying to show you and that's why i, said, I do think it is earthly items because you can kind of see all around them where there's the forest there's the animals so i would look for things like that she might be trying to like um like look for butterflies. Butterflies a lot of times are spirit guides or um, ancestors, and they're kind of most of the time when you see them, they're kind of letting you know you're on the right path. So like butterflies, anything with nature that you see, that's gonna be probably her way of communicating. I don't know if she was big into gardening and and you know things like that, but that's kind of more what I'm hearing and seeing from her is that she's gonna give you hints through nature, maybe when you're gardening outside and doing things like that. So let's go ahead and do some of the angel, god, and goddess's cards and see what she has to say about that. So I want to thank you again, PR number 57-S, for choosing me to do your reading. It's always an honor to work with you, so I greatly appreciate it. And so let's go ahead and see what they have to say. 
She is also saying angel of manifestation. So, yes, if you want to be able to connect to her, it is something you're going to... Um, your, everybody has to manifest it. Everybody does. So your efforts, determination, and perseverance have paid off. So she is saying you are, at this time, manifesting it. So eventually, right here, you are going to be able to communicate with her very soon. I don't think it's going to take very long. I would say within the next three to four months, you're going to start feeling more strong signals coming off from her. So you will be, um, you will get that, those hints from her. So that's good. So that means you're also connecting very quickly. So you're doing a good job if you're meditating or trying to connect to nature and ground, you're doing a very good job at that. So let's go ahead and see the healing mantra and see if there's anything that she would like to tell you. And then we'll do the angel whispers. card that came out is anchoring the light so this is what i would say is her almost kind of talking about you know connecting with you because when you connect with uh, the light you're kind of anchoring to it so that is the front of it anchoring to the light and the back is the light is always within me so she is saying the way to connect with her is within yourself you are the light so when you find the light within yourself you will also have more ways to connect to her so, um, but she is very much by your side all the time. Let's go ahead and do the angel whispers. All right, so that's two. She is saying, do not live in the past, look forward to the future and rejoice ahead. So this is almost kind of like your questions about the past of the, of, you know, the family, um, is there any messages? And she's saying, look forward to the future. So she's saying, do not live in the past. You know, what happened with the family, look forward to your future and rejoice in the journey that you're about to have with her. Because whenever you connect with her, you're going to be able to get a deeper connection. It says, believe in your own inner power again, which goes with, you know, you are the light. So you have, um, what it takes to achieve your goals. So again, um, you will be able to achieve that goal to connect to her, but you do have to believe that you can. So let's go ahead and hit the singing bolt for her. I want to thank you again for choosing me to do your reading. I greatly appreciate it. And again, it's always a pleasure working with you. All right, Southern Soul Tarot fam, I want to thank y'all for joining me. I said if y'all are interested in having a private reading for yourself, all of that is in my about section. It has the readings that I am, that I do that are available, the links uh, if you want to go ahead and set one up, as well as my email. And you would just email me, let me know which one you want and which payment form you would like to use, and that way I can go ahead and set up a private reading for you. Um, and then also, if you enjoyed the reading, like I said, and you would like to see more in the future, or if we do lives and then I do the readings in a lifetime, you can, if you could click the subscribe bar and notification bell, I would greatly appreciate it. So thank you again, PR number 57-S. And um, like I said, if you have any questions, you have my email, so just let me know. I will talk to you all soon, and you all have a good one.